Today on our 2006 Saturn View, we'll be installing the Kurt Hitch part number C12291. Here's what our hitch looks like installed on our vehicle. Now we'll go ahead and give you a couple measurements in helping you choose some accessories, such as a ball mount, bicycle rack, or cargo carrier. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper is approximately 3 inches, and from the top of the opening in the receiver to the ground is approximately 13 and a half inches. Now let's go ahead and install our hitch. To begin with, let's go ahead and point out the locations that we we'll use to mount our hitch to the vehicle. As you will see, there are two weld nuts on each side, both the passenger and the driver's side. As well as two holes at the center of the rear bumper bracing. These two holes will have to have a carriage bolt and a spacer block fish wired into them. But before we can start, we need to clean out the existing weld nuts. We'll do this by using some spray lubricant and a nylon tube brush, part number 814092. It's a good idea once you've cleaned out the threads to make sure that the bolts will go into each of the weld nuts fairly easily. Here's the hardware that we'll use at each of the locations on the hitch. For both of the side brackets, we use a half inch conical tooth washer, making sure that the teeth face the hitch, as well as an M12 bolt. For the two center sections, we'll be using the half inch by one and three quarter inch carriage bolt with the square hole spacer block and a half inch flange nut. Now we're ready to go ahead and use a fish wire to pull the carriage bolt and the spacer block into place. We found that the fish wire is just a little bit short though on this particular vehicle, so we went ahead and added an extra piece to allow us to reach the end of the bumper bracing. Now we'll go ahead and pull each of the carriage bolts and spacer blocks into place. Now that we have the carriage bolts in place and all of our weld nuts are cleaned out, it's a good idea to get an extra set of hands to help you raise the hitch up into place. You want to make sure when raising the hitch that you do not push the carriage bolts back into the bumper bracing. Once you have the hitch up, it's a good idea to go ahead and put the two nuts under the carriage bolts to help keep the hitch in place. Once you have these two on, you can go ahead and install the other four bolts as well as conical tooth washers. With everything tightened down, go ahead and torque it to the manufacturer's specification. And with that, that'll conclude our installation of the Kurt Hitch, part number C12291 on our 2006 Saturn View.